Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. Hello friends. I will start this video with the presentation of the latest release of ComfyUI V1. This update brings a host of improvements and new features designed to enhance your workflow and boost productivity. The new interface in the desktop application is available immediately once you update ComfyUI. I'll let you see what I'm talking about. So, now that we have an idea about the new Comfy UI interface, let's talk about the purpose of our video. The goal of today's video is to be able to generate a consistent character in order to allow us to generate a fluid and complete animation with the same subject. This can lead us to the creation of a Laura that we can use in our future works. So, several people discussed the subject, and we all have the common points that we are going to see. Let's start with the first step. We talk about creating poses from different angles, exactly as we would do for a 3D object. For this, we will use open pose. So, we will start with the resize image node. Of course, we need a load image node to load the image, resize it, and connect it to the open pose. I will use the character I already have for my work. And for this video, I will work with different other images with different styles, just to show how it works. So, Simply connect the image output to the image input in each node successively. Load an image and cue prompt. Here, I will use my final character to generate the bones pose. You can do the same thing with stable diffusion, or you can directly load an image with bone position like you want. Now that we have the pose, we gotta use Flux Dev Workflow for better result. Just drop the workflow from the link in the description below. This is the Flux Basic Workflow with some node position adjustment and where I put a prop for the character. After we load the Basic Flux Workflow, we need to apply a control net. It's simple. Load and apply control net node and a load control net model. For the control net model, you just have to click the link in the description to find it. And when you join all the nodes, you can start queue prompt with the image pose that you want with your own character prompt. I'll let you join all nodes with the correct output input. If necessary, you can forward the video and pause it to check if it is correct. Now, let's see what we have. At first, we have the character poses creation group. Let's join the pose image generated to the Flux workflow. 
All you have to do is to connect the open pose image output to the control net image input. Then you can load any image pose reference you want. It will generate the bone poses. I try with different style. If necessary, you can adjust the parameters on the open pose node. It worked for full body, multiple face orientation, or with mix of body and faces orientation. Let's try with this full body image. I prefer to hide the lines. You just have to click in the eye in the right bottom. Then, make sure you use the Flux Dev model, the Clip Loader and VA. Try to put a prompt to generate multiple view from different angles. Adjust the weight and height. Let's take a look at the different parameters on every nodes. It seems right. Let's take a look at the different parameters on every nodes. It seems right. And let's go. We have a red error. We have to define a file name prefix. You can do this by loading a simple string node and give a prefix name. The image generation can take time, especially if it is the first run. For this example, I put a realistic prompt style. But for our project, I'll use anime style. And when you find the right one, try to correct the details before upscale. It's not a perfect generated image, but I'll let you try in the background for better results. And now, let's go to the next step for upscaling. So, now that you find the character that you want, we can upscale the image. Let's do it. An upscale group nodes is the first thing that we need. Let's try the ultimate SD upscale. And of course, you have to load an upscale model. And the image preview. We gonna also use a face detailer pipe to easily detect faces and improves them. So let's go with a face detailer pip node. A detailer pipe node. a box detector, and a detailer hook node. Don't forget the image preview or save for the output. Try to reorganize all these nodes like you want. You can use the upscaling in an advanced workflow. So now why do we do all this? We now, having a perfect data set to create a Lura Aura, 
is basically a way to give an AI model more context for an object or a subject. And it's definitely not a new technique, but it has never been so easy. Let's say we want to create a Laura for this character with good images. You have just a connect theme like you see on the screen. Then, put them wherever you want. And when it's done, you can queue prompt. Sometimes, you have to adjust parameters for several times until you have a satisfied result. So, now, we will create different emotions for our character. We are gonna set some example emotions. You can refer to the live portrait video to understand how it work. I put the link in the description below. So, we will set four or five emotion. I just duplicate the nodes and connect them to the first image reference. It's the same thing that animator use in 3D animation. He calls it shape key. Let's see what it looks like. Here is an example with Blender. You have a face, and in the right, you have a key for each part of the face. When you move it, you create an emotion. This is exactly what we want to do with AI. So, we have here sliders. Rotate pitch. Rotate yaw. Rotate roll. And down, you can use the A, E, or Wu slider. Or make it happy or smile. So, Adjust this parameters in the other expression editor. And see what's is done. So, let's try to narrate a motion with different image style. It's not always perfect, but you can adjust the parameters to fix it. Let's try this image. It's good, and it quickly generated.
Let's return to my character and generate. So, you can customize them. You have all these sliders and you can just change them and find the emotions that you like. Maybe we can make her even more happy by just raising the eyebrows. It's more about having a wide variety and what you can also do is like rotate the head. So, you have like different angles. We have a looking to the right. We have a looking to the left. And this will be very good for the next step. We want the different emotions and this is honestly already enough. Usually 10 or 15 images is enough to train a Laura. So, we now have to see how to use all of this for the creation of our character. The quality of the images will define the quality of the final work. So, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, keep in touch.